हेलो एवरी वन अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल लर्न इंग्लिश विद स्ने माई नेम इज स्नेथनेटिया योर इंग्लिश ट्यूटर टूडे आई एम हेयर विद यू फॉर अ डिफरेंट थिंग जस्ट टू टेल यू अबाउट द स्ट्रेटी और अबाउट आर क्लास स्केड्यूल्स और अबाउट द होल डिटेल सिलेबस ऑफ एस एस सी सी जी एल टी एर टू ऑफ इंग्लिश सेक्शन फॉर द इंग्लिश सेक्शन सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक some lectures or some sessions for cgl tier 2 students who go, got qualified cgl tier 1 okay for those students who are still not aware with cgl tier 2 syllabus then how much marks your section would be how much marks error would be there and i'll discuss all these things with you and as well as i'll discuss some uh, our class schedule as well okay what will be the sessions for monday what will be the session uh, for tuesday and all right so students let's uh, let's discuss our syllabus okay first this is mind map for your strat strategy sessions for ccl tier 2 so this is our syllabus for um, the syllabus in detail it, it's it's only for english section okay not only for, not for maths okay so uh, i think you you all are very exp uh, you all are expert in maths maths i think so okay students uh, let me tell you uh, there would be a vocabulary section that we are still uh, we are even discussing on uh, we are even discussing in our daily classes okay so vocabulary would be there for uh, almost 30 to 35 marks even more than that okay if i include spelling errors in that so vocabulary includes like synonyms antonyms one word one word substitution idioms phrases and all synonym and antonym would be around 15 marks will be there for synonym and antonyms 7 to 8 ma uh, 7 to 8 words or 7 to 8 marks for synonyms 7 to 8 marks for antonyms and there would be 10 questions for one words as well as 10 questions for uh, idioms and phrases okay and uh, the most important section or the most typical uh, for the students that would be error detection will cover uh, almost 15 questions or 15 sentences that will cover 15 marks okay around it can be slightly up and down it's it's up to examiner right and there would be para jumbles like uh, sentence rearrangement okay there will be there will be around 50 to, uh, 20 uh, questions for para jumbles and uh, next come to sentence improvement and there will be uh, there would be around 15 to 20 questions of sentence improvement you will have given a blank or you will have given a highlighted part in the sentence that you need to uh, you need to just replace that highlighted part or that blank with other parts okay especially uh, this uh, especially this sentence improvement uh, we have given that would be highlighted part in the sentence okay uh, you can uh, improve you you just need to improve your sentence with the given options okay and the next we have given voice and narration this is a major portion and very easy section okay those who are preparing okay those who are already uh, very serious will dedicated for their preparation they can hit total on total 40 45 45 marks in this particular section okay there will be around 20 to 25 questions uh, uh, for active and passive voice and 20 to 25 questions for narration that means direct and direct speech okay students uh, just uh, remember one thing if there would be 20 questions from active passive then there will be 25 questions from narration and if there will be 20 questions from narration then there will be 25 questions from voice uh, active passive voice okay just remember this thing so it's it's very easy section you can cover there there are only two chapters and for these two chapters you need to know about tenses you need to know about two verbs okay all those things that means basic knowledge of tense is required for these two chapters okay so and we will discuss uh, these two chapters or even the whole grammar in detail and the next we have given close test okay students do one thing listen one thing close and uh, close test and reading comprehension these are these are these uh, two work parallelly like narration and voice if you have given two three sets of 10 questions 10 questions each okay then you will if you have two uh, sets of clauses then you will have given three sets of reading comprehension if you will have two sets of reading comprehension having 10 questions each then you will have three sets of clauses okay remember this thing that means these two sections will cover almost 45 to 50 marks okay in your examination so it's 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 not that tough it's not that easy but if you are 
aware with current affairs if you are aware with topics of current if you are good at trading then you can hit those 45 marks okay not to worry and the next thing just wait a minute guys just wait a minute i think there will be okay so next come to spelling errors spelling error okay spelling error words jitne bhi aate hain to spelling error mein yaad rakhiyega all ye free ke marks hote hain you can say but it is somewhere tough okay if you are not a regular reader if you are not a regular learner that will be tough for you ओके तो ध्यान रखिए स्पेलिंग एरर के ऑलमोस्ट फाइव टू सेवन क्वेश्चन इवन फाइव क्वेश्चन आर देयर विल बी विल बी देयर बट माइट बी सेवन हो सकता है इट्स अप टू एग्जामिनर एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू सो फाइव मार्क्स के स्पेलिंग एरर्स होंगे आपके मे बी सेवन भी हो सकता है फिलअप्स जो हैं ये इंपॉर्टेंट हैं क्योंकि फिलअप्स में आपके फ्रीजल वर्ब्स बहुत गिवन दिए होते हैं बहुत ज़्यादा गिवन होते हैं तो फ्रीजल वर्ब्स कहीं ना कहीं टफ हैं तो फिलअप्स पर आप ध्यान दीजिएगा ओके सो टेन टू फिफ्टीन मार्क्स कवर करेगा आपका फिलअप्स दैट मीन्स टेन टू फिफ्टीन मार्क्स दैट मीन्स देर विल बी वन क्वेश्चन फॉर वन मार्क ओके इफ आई सैड टेन क्वेश्चन दैट मीन्स द पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक विल बी फॉर टेन मार्क्स ओके इफ आई सैड फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन दैट मीन्स फिफ्टीन मार्क्स एंड देर विज देर विल बी वन मोर वन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज डेस्क्रिप्टिव पेपर डेस्क्रिप्टिव एग्जामिनेशन दैट विल बी ऑफ हंड्रेड मार्क्स इट विल कवर योर एसे राइटिंग एंड लेटर राइटिंग so for descriptive you just what you need to do just uh, read something the recent topics and just summarize those topics at your own language in your own language and uh, i'll uh, i'll cover this uh, essay writing and letter writing uh, format and uh, what are the um, rules regulations rules for these what need what things we need to uh, we need to we need to be in your mind in our mind before writing an essay or before writing an, a letter okay i'll discuss these two topics in my sessions as well so uh, just uh, start uh, just start writing something from the day, from uh, today onwards okay okay uh, now come to our class schedules there will be seven uh, we have seven days in a week uh, monday we will uh, discuss about uh, chapter wise grammatical section and uh, like noun uh, noun pronoun adverb chapter wise we will go okay vocabulary will be for 6 days okay daily vocabulary discuss hoga ek din english grammar hoga to next day practice hoga next day fir english grammar hoga uske baad vocab hoga then after idiom phrases honge weekly ek baar usme uh, next day fir english grammar hoga ye same jo maine yahan pe mention kiya hai same hum schedule leke chalenge to jaisa bhi ho aapke kuch suggestions hain to please mujhe suggestions dijiyega कुछ भी डाउट्स एंड क्वेरीज हैं तो आप कमेंट में नीचे मेंशन कीजिएगा प्लीज ओके और डोंट वरी आई डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू आई डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू आउट टू क्वालिफाई योर सी जी एल टीयर टू ओके बट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट यू टू बी वीलिंग टू लर्न ओके आपका डेडिकेशन सबसे जरूरी है अगर आप डेडिकेटेड हैं तो मैं आपके साथ मेहनत करने के लिए तैयार हूँ ओके सो थैंक यू वेरी मच स्टूडेंट्स और stay tuned and connected with me for the coming sessions and from tomorrow onwards i'll start uh, this grammatical section uh, chapter wise chapter wise grammatical section and vocabulary we are already discussing daily okay thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe this video because uh, i just want to live uh, i just want to connect in live streaming okay so please 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 subscribe this video thank you